now because uh, those are words from a professional, you know. So, you yeah, know, it, for me, it is it is good content to put out because we are talking about shit, you know, we, we are talking about shit that even somehow some someone who's doing it from 20 years now is it, talking about. So it really resonates a lot. I think I think people uh, I think people continue with the market because they're interested. I think you look, I think you, you have to lose the, any conception about making money really uh, in order to be able to enjoy the process and get to a position where it does make you money. Well, I, you know, uh, you bring up a good point with that. Uh, is that you, there's really this illusion when you're starting out in the market that this illusion of making it, right? Like, um, you know, we, we sort of have a lot of people, you know, if, if you ask them to sit on your, uh, if you're a psychologist, you ask them to sit on their, uh, their couch and tell you what they, to picture success and describe it to you and visual images. A lot of people yeah. will picture boats and beaches and probably margaritas on the beach. Yeah. And, up. but they, they always picture something that involves a comfortable situation with very little effort and very little work. And yes. the idea that you can reach a point in time, an inflection point in time, where you make it and that you don't have to struggle anymore and you don't have to put in the same amount of effort that you did previously. And um, that may be true financially. I mean, you can re reach a certain point of, um, you know, wealth yeah, that, yeah. that you don't have to worry about building wealth anymore. But for like, <laughs> it, in terms of life, like a life perspective, like, you, you know, you try to apply that methodology to your life your life's going to go downhill maybe not financially but in in other ways so you, you get this situation where you sort of have people have these illusions about what it means to be successful and what success actually means in their life right i mean you kind of get it it kind of ties into you know also how you define failure right i mean yeah uh the, i remember reading a uh, a tony robbins book i read a, all his books back in my mid twenties. And, uh, one of the things that really stuck with me was, uh, he was describing, uh, what he, what he described as the ultimate failure, which is people who have achieved like a type of status and wealth in the world, but they're still deeply unfulfilled. And that's like, the, wow. that's the ultimate failure, right? They, they, uh, they miss the mark, wow. right? Because I think, uh, I think I would agree with that. Yeah. Because if you, you know, if you fail, like failure, if you're fail, if you fail and you're ambitious, like you just, you learned and you just try something new there, there, there are things you can do to address that discomfort. But if you succeed and you're unfulfilled, that's the ultimate failure because there's nowhere for you to go at that point. Right. You, you don't well, know yeah, how to address the you, situation. If you, yeah. If you have a goal in mind and. Even if you reach it, you don't feel fulfilled. I mean, yeah, you probably you are gonna make a lot of money, but if you don't feel fulfilled, realize as as a human being, it's gonna be a failure no matter what because you are gonna feel, I guess, empty. Yeah, I mean, he used right? the uh, example of yeah. Robin Williams. You know, Robin Williams, like he, you know, he was one of the best comedians of his generation, and. But he wanted to be a dramatic actor too, right? And then so he made he got into dramatic movies and then he killed he made a he did that, reinvented yeah. his career and did it just as good as anybody else could do. Everybody in the but world yeah. loved him. And he uh, had, uh, yeah, me know? too. I, I loved him, yeah, for for course, yeah. And then he ended but, up, you know, he hung himself. So it's yeah. it's a good example of like, you know, success without fulfillment is the ultimate failure. And it ties into yeah. a good point is like with trading, like trading can't provide that sense of meaning for your life. You know, it um, can, it can provide a, the financial freedom to pursue meaning, but I really believe that you, you need to pursue that outside of trade. Yeah. yeah. I agree. I, I you know know what? To actually do it as well. I think, yeah, you know what? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I think it's important to have, something else that's not just the markets that you focus on, whether it be a sport or some sort of hobby or something, I think that's, that's I don't know, I think that's quite important. Uh, uh, a 
allow a time where your mind just does shut off in the market, even just to reset a little bit, I think it's a good, healthy thing to do. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, 